Mamma Mia! Hello everybody, this is Miles Luigi. Welcome you back to Super Mario Brothers, the hunt for the magic key. Today I have a very special guest with me. Hello, it's me, it's me, Alex Eno from uh, SMV Central. Welcome Alex, this is the uh, person who is well responsible for this ROM hack that I am currently playing. And the person who decided to lock Mario out of his house. I, I really have to ask, just was my first question, where did the brilliant story for this ROM hack come from? <laughs> uh, I just uh, have, I just found uh, out something. <laughs> it stands still in my head when I'm making a story. But uh, I think... Uh, but I think when I release this hack, uh, another... T uh, with a new name, the hunt for the magical key. I changed the story, so it uh, sounds better. Since um, I, I, I'm, <clears throat> I was not, uh, I was not, uh, I, I didn't like my story <laughs> from the start. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it, it was very really simple. <laughs> But the story was kind of an afterthought for you. You're saying you're like you're like I'm gonna make a really cool ROM hack, and you didn't really care about the story. And then it came time to release. It's like oh, I should probably have a story. Mario locked himself out of his house. <laughs> I, w I will say you did improve the story, although I still uh, I, I find the original story just humorous in its own right, just because it's like Mario locked himself out of his house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, <clears throat> it's a story that that could be real. <laughs> you can lose yourself outside the door, and uh, <laughs> that can. <clears throat> it's a sit sit situation that uh, can happen to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, can't say it's never happened to me before. <laughs> <laughs> Not me either. But I think. But <clears throat> I I forgot my key home. I did that. <laughs> anyway, if I may ask this following question, I can't help but notice like it was originally called Super Mario Brothers Master Quest 8, and one of the first comments I had when someone recommended this ROM hack to me was Master Quest 8, or there's you, you make a lot of Mario ROM hacks, don't you? Yes, this is a Master, great, uh, Master Quest 8, since I made 8 of these hacks. But, uh, wow. Yes. But, uh,. I'm not so proud of uh, Master Quest 2, 3, and 4 since they was outdated before I got member on SMV Central. So I I won't upload them, but may I maybe make use the levels again. I can do it. I have a bunch of levels to use so that people never seen before. Before. <laughs> I will commemorate you on this. I think out of all the ROM hacks I've played, it definitely shows that you have like experience making the hacks, because this is a very, very well put together ROM hack. Um, by the time we're recording this, the video hasn't gone up, but one of my co-commentators, Higsby, just commented how like well you had to understand Super Mario World hacking to make something like this. So I <laughs> definitely wanted to commemorate on you on that. My latest hacks is uh, Super Mario Bros. Uh, the Invaders of Mushroom Kingdom. I just released it uh, before uh, in December. Mm -hmm. so, I might have to check that out. Yes, check it out. Just as a out of curiosity, invaders like do the shrooms invade? I have to ask. <laughs> it's uh, it's um, it's Bowser again. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's always the antagonist from Nintendo. Yes. I, I want to say ever since Super Mario Sunshine, they just were like, well, screw it, Bowser's going to be the boss at the end. <laughs> they, they didn't try anything clever from there. Yeah. In fact, now that I think about it, I think Bowser's been the boss in every Mario game except Mario 2 and any spin-off. Yes. I wonder why... There's why been a lot they, of Mario games, though. I wonder why they didn't use Warth again. Since uh, where where is he? Where is he now? <laughs> Worth. 
if you buy the theory that Mario 2 is just a dream, you could just make the argument Wart was just a dream. Yes. But I would like to see Wart return in some fashion. That would be nice. E even if it was some twist where like the story starts off, Wart's doing something bad, and then it just turns out to be something Bowser's doing afterwards, and Bowser's the ultimate antagonist. Yeah. I would still like it. Just just something a little bit different. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit different than, oh hey, the princess got kidnapped again. I think about something. It's, uh, you know, Legend of Zelda Link's... Uh... Link's Awakening. I do. That's it's also a dream, and what is inside that? So uh, <laughs> I don't. <clears throat> maybe there is is in the same world in some reason, in some way. <laughs> so you're saying Link and Mario share the same dreams with each other? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> there, there's right. some connection. So that that was a reset pipe. Yeah. But if you fail with the chain rock and the P switch, okay, so we got a little bit of a puzzle going on here, and hey, a midway point to help us out here. Take it, I'm gonna have to somehow get this stone across so that I can get across. And how do I get this block? Probably with the uh, yeah, with the stone. I just have to get the P switch. Where's the P switch? Is my question. Did I mess this puzzle hmm. up already? No, there's an invisible block. Uh, you should go back. <laughs> Okay, I will go back and not fall to my death, <laughs> preferably. I actually think I went back in time before I went into the pipe, so I'm going to go into the pipe and I'll look for the block. It's just under there. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. It's not too far from, uh, <laughs> from the place I put it in. So if you fail... If you lost <laughs> like that, <laughs> like that, <laughs> that's why I placed the pipe there. Since uh, you can get, you can fail. And if you forget, if you go to take those coins from the, the blocks, you will get stuck. So it's, uh, <laughs> you should take the right, those voila. coins. Yes. Yeah, I probably should actually before this guy ambushes me again. There we go. Um, while I'm ever so wonderfully solving this puzzle yet again, a um, question that I always like asking every single Round Mac creator I bring in is for anyone out there who. Oh my gosh, I messed that up really. <laughs> okay, please time your mind. Anyone out there who's like watching this video, you know, and you're alone, and they're like, hey, I want to make my own Mario ROM hack. Mm. Do you have any advice for them? Like anything that you wish you would have known when you started Mario ROM hacking? I just put something together. I just, just try, try it out, try and fail. You should, that's uh, how you, I did it. My first level that ever, I ever made, it, it still exists in the Super Mario 2D Land. In one, of, in one of my castles, there, there is still my first level that uh, still exists. So. <laughs> just get experience is the main thing yes. I've heard that one before too and it's definitely true I've tried my hand at Mario World ROM hacking and, you, and you're probably not aware my one Mario ROM hack it's an ever wonderfully named super crappy world <laughs> 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 and it, it was actually made to be bad but at the same time it actually taught me quite a bit about lunar magic and various things when putting levels together and even though I was making something that was purposely meant to be bad it, it was still a little been learning some things you take, you and should, I missed my opportunity to get the P-Switch. Switch. <laughs> okay, I will, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to, it there you. we go. Grab it. All the way back to the pipe. This level is uh, quite long. But you think, but <clears throat> I watched some other guy that did the same level and he gets stuck on uh, he used long time to find out how he beat those uh, purple bob bombs in the next room well we're gonna see them shortly here I can see here this uh, on one hand you know it's a line guideline but it's like I'm constantly near danger so I'm like on the edge of my seat although now I'm going through serrated tooths in the line guide while being chased by booze oh gosh 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 that's a little challenging 
<laughs> At first I thought I was going to just sit there, but then, oh no, no, you're not just going to sit there. <laughs> you got some booze to dodge. That was really clever, actually. You turned out it was normally going to be something really boring. Oh, I see what you were talking about. We got Chuck, yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm just going to... Yeah. I got uh, how by to Chuck, beat them. Yeah. You, oh, thankfully you, just, you don't just die. You just uh, put them, you just take them in the back and just throw, throw them. Go back. I see. If I can, if I can get out of this, <laughs> they are take taking me. <laughs> I think I, I think I need to. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see if I can get one in the back. Well, that's not quite doing it, and I'm running out of time, so I better you get press this down the, right. You, you should press the peace switch right now. Okay, I'll press this P-switch. Is P-switch instant win? Nope, P-switch gives me the door. Oh, okay, I'll take instant door. Perfect. <laughs> Aha. Alright, I got 35 seconds to kill whatever is in here. And it's a Chuck ya and um, Charging Chuck, so two Chucks. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Chuck ya and uh, the Charge. The Chuck. Chuck and Chuck. <laughs> Alright. Yes. There we go, now we just have Chuck yet to go, and no, 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 ah! I think I can beat him before the time run out. Just put Braggin, just take him in the back with B. Okay. Not, uh... Not quite, okay. It, it... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Just press I think B he's turning around too fast. No, no, that's him. But don't go too mm. fast. I was about to say, this is a little bit like Super Mario 64, where if you just run up to him, you unfortunately just still get caught. Okay, not quite, not quite. I can do this. There! Got him! There, there we go. You beat him. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> A little tricky, okay. Yeah. But I got it. Twelve, 12 seconds right. left. <laughs> Twelve seconds left. I have a tendency to bring things down to the wire. Yeah. Anyway, next time, let's play Super Mario Brothers, The Hunt for the Magical Key. We are going to continue on through World 4, and uh, I think we're going to have a little bit more fun here. Will you join us, Alex, now? Yes, I join. Oh, awesome. Look forward to that, everyone. Yes. Anyway, this has been Miles Luigi. Yeah. This is Alexander and good night. <laughs> good night. Thank you.